Hi, I'm Hope and I'm here with Pearl and we're going to walk you through Timber Doodle's 2020 sixth grade curriculum. So let's get started with, let's start with language arts today. Okay, first let's look at the literature aspect of our language arts program. So when you want to assign your sixth grader literature, you want to make sure that they are reading grade appropriate, grade level appropriate literature and you want to make sure the content is wholesome and Mazda's accomplishes both of these things. This will be full of different literature selections from different authors. You've got poems, you've got stories, a whole gamut of different literature selections. But not only that, you also have the student activity book which will reinforce what they are learning in here. This will cover vocabulary, this will cover reading comprehension, this will cover creative writing. All of that's included so that you, by the time your child's accomplished this program, they're gonna, you're gonna know they, they're at grade level appropriate, exposure to literature, and they know and they understand what they read. So that's Mazda's Pearl. Next we'll look at spelling you see. So this is, sixth grade is the last year that your student will be covering spelling. And this is, again, still working on the visual memory rather than rote memory approach. Short daily lessons to make sure your child has all the spelling skills they will need to carry them throughout high school and beyond. Wordsmith Apprentice is the writing course for your sixth grader this year, very systematic. Um, and there involves humor through the use of comic strips. And what it does is it allows your child to step into the role of someone who's working at a newspaper. So whether that's the reporter, whether that's the editor, taking on the role and using that uh, to refine their writing skills this year. Storyteller's card game is new for us this year. We're very excited about it because it builds both the vocabulary and the storytelling skills. Lots of fun ideas on how to use it in the handbook besides the standard game instructions that come included. Yes. And last in the language arts category is typing instructor. And while typing instructor may not be something that you think as a classic language arts component, it really is for the children that struggle with their fine motor skills, with the children that struggle with the act of actually writing something down on paper, typing can be a great segue into creative writing. And so mm -hmm. this will give your child the skills that they need for that. We like typing instructor because you can. there's a number of choices in it as far as you can just do straight through the lessons. You can make your own lessons. There's also dictation in there so you can have your child listen and type it out. There's a number of wonderful um, options through this that will help your child become proficient in their typing skills. For math this year, your sixth grader will be using Matthew C. Zeta. It includes the integer blocks, the algebra decimal blocks, the video, and the workbooks. And your child will be focusing on decimals and percents this year in this mastery-based course. And last is the Extreme Dot to Dot USA. Some of these puzzles include over 1,400 dots. It will exercise both the right and left sides of the brain and will be a brain break for them after they do the other math curriculum. Next, let's look at thinking skills. So the main component of thinking skills this year is the critical and creative thinking activities books. And the wonderful thing about these books is that it covers both the, the deductive thinking skills or the convergent thinking skills as well, well as the creative problem solving, which we call the divergent thinking skills. Because of that, it's actually quite fun and enjoyable as well. So it's, it's necessary, but your children will also enjoy doing it. And then in the religious kit, we also include the fallacy detective. And this is written with a humorous point of view. It really teaches your child the basics in logic. Um, I have great memories of this being a read aloud in my family where we would read the humorous stories. We'd talk about the fallacies, answer the questions. Compete to answer the questions. Compete to answer the questions, answer them correctly. Um, just a very engaging book, and yet this was what I recall as being the, the jumping off point for me in an understanding fallacies. Solitaire chess. In the homeschool realm, chess is a very popular activity, but now it's available as a solitaire game. So if you don't have a sibling or a parent that's free to help your sixth grader play a game of chess, the beauty of this game is they each challenge will set up a situation and then challenge your child to figure out the way to master that, to win in that situation. So they are honing and strengthening their chess skills um, while also doing it on a solitaire basis. Which exactly. Is helpful. Exactly. And it's not a chess setup exactly, but it's using the ch same chess moves, the same logical and strategy skills. So it really will help build that thinking process. Yes. And last is the tally ho game, which if you haven't seen our video on why we included multiplayer games in the 2020 curriculum, you should go back and watch it. There's tons of benefits to doing multiplayer games. The fun thing about tally ho is that it's a two player strategy game. You never know which pieces are going to be where on the board until you've begun gameplay. So it really builds your flexible thinking as well as your strategic planning once you know what's where. Yes. Let's talk about history and social studies. If you purchase the Christian kit this year, your sixth grader will be using the Uncle Sam and You program by Knotgrass. So civics is a very important topic. Your child needs to learn it. This is about the most engaging, enjoyable way you can possibly do that. It includes lots of historical photographs, images, 
original documents, activity choices. So you can either just read the text. If your child's a visual learner, that will work great for them. If they're more of a hands-on learner, there's options for that for the hands-on activities. So perfect way to make it work for your family. And if you purchase the non-religious curriculum, you'll have a history of us. This is the second half of the series, including more modern American history. Uh, and mostly story-based with lots of original photographs and images. Again, kids are really going to love it, especially because of all the images sprinkled throughout the text. And since there are no activities in the Reader for a History of Us, in our handbook we include some ideas on how to review and document what your child has learned that week. Also in history, we have the 40 History Over Time puzzles. So the first layer um, is the territorial expansions. The second layer is the United States as we know it now, the different states. And then the third layer is adding the little... Um, historical buildings or monuments that are famous nowadays in the United States. Yes, and, the, and not only that, but that last step of adding the buildings, they have it, uh, the instructions written out so you can add them in sequence of when they were built. So again, you're learning the history as well as the geography. Yes. And last in the history category are the two graphic novels, um, The Search and The Family Secret. If you have ever thought about addressing the Holocaust with your children, um, we felt that sixth grade was the appropriate time to begin this discussion. Um, in the graphic novel format, it's not too scary in its approach. It, it doesn't, I would say, it doesn't hold any punches right. either, so you may want to preview it before yeah. and to make sure that it is appropriate for what your child is able to handle at this time. Mm -hmm. um, but being in the story format and the graphic novel format, it's an appropriate and yet sobering mm -hmm. look at the Holocaust. So for geography, for sixth grade, we have skill sharpeners geography. And there's a few things we love about this course. One is how colorful and approachable the course is. The other thing we love about it is that it covers both the concepts and real life examples together. So you, in this page, for example, you're learning about latitude, you're learning about the hemispheres, but you also have the real life example of Iceland. So your child will get to experience some of the world's geography while mastering the concepts. Now let's look at science. So for, for the religious kids this year, we have exploring creation with human anatomy and physiology, and your child will get to delve into the wonders of how God created your, the human body. Um, and we'll also be doing experiments such as testing bacteria around the house, um, finding out their blood type, making a jello and candy cell, and much more. So a lot of interesting, exciting things to learn, and also appreciate the biblical perspective on how God created your body. New to 2020, we do also include the lab kit, so it makes it a lot easier for you, except for household supplies, all the supplies will be included in your kit. Yeah. For the non-religious curriculum kits, we have Building Blocks of Science, book six. And the amazing thing about Building Blocks of Science is that it covers all five core disciplines of science, every grade, so that by the end, your child will have a really thorough mastery of these topics. Building Blocks of Science includes the student textbook, the lab notebook, the teacher's manual, and it also includes the lab kit so that you don't have to go and find the different materials for the experiments. We also include the Dr. Bonafide book four, which is sort of a mashup between a graphic novel and a workbook. It, d it deals with the bones of the head, face, and neck, so it includes a little bit of that health aspect that you may want to be adding to the curriculum, as well as just being a very enjoyable workbook graphic novel for your child to work through. Yeah. Also in the sixth grade curriculum is the 4D torso puzzle, which helps your child cement their knowledge of the internal organs and structures. It's really something every student should complete at some point in their education, and we're very happy to have it in our sixth grade curriculum. Also included as a handy reference tool is the human body cube, which is cleverly jointed to reveal 12 different illustrations of the body. So you've got the full torso, the bones, the brain, and more. And last in the science category is 100 things to know about the human body. Did you know that your teeth are stronger than steel or that humans lose about 94 bones in their body before they reach adulthood? All these facts and more are available in this very attractive and engaging book about 100 things to know about your body. Let's talk about STEM. So Turing Tumble is like a peek into how a computer actually works. It shows in a very hands-on way what happens in a computer when a program runs. And to complement your social studies curriculum this year, we have the Mini Bricks White House Kit. Um, this is a partially assembled model. Basically, your child will use bricks and glue and, and assemble a replica of the White House. Let's talk about art. So first up, we have Complete a Sketch Advanced CD. You will print off the activities for your child to complete. They will fill in the sketches. What it really is is it's teaching some of the elemental pre-drafting skills. Next, let's talk about Doodle Your Day, which is a doodle-based approach to microjournaling. So it builds that creative or divergent art style and not just the follow the directions to achieve the end result art style. So for example, on April 2nd, 
It is International Children's Book Day, so you would doodle the cover of your favorite book. Again, lots of, a huge variety of different doodles your child will complete over the course of the year. The Lush Nature Kit is a scratch art kit, which you may be thinking, really scratch art for a sixth grader? This is not a typical scratch art kit. It requires extreme attention to detail, following directions, and it builds the fine motor skills. It really forces your child to slow down, pay attention, make sure they're following the correct steps, which is a skill that is more than just art, that transfers to all of life. Last is a two sticks painting kit, and we are so excited about this painting kit. New edition this year. Let me pull out a couple for you to see an example of the different canvases you will receive. So you can see the grayscale canvas there that you will be learning how to paint. Two sticks has included directions specifically for your child so they can learn how to thin the paint, how to mix the paint, how to paint over wet paint, and more. When we received this kit to preview, I was skeptical. I am not an artist. I wished I was, but I am not an artist. And when I went to try my hand at painting, um, it was with reluctance because I didn't want to embarrass myself with how it turned out. And I was amazed at what their directions and the skills that they have enabled you to have with the gray scale on the canvas, what even I can turn out. So your child will not only be able to turn out a great work of art themselves, something that you will want to hang on the walls, um, they'll also learn the skill of acrylic painting. So it's just very exciting for your sixth grader to now have this available to them. Yes, and it does even include a classic two-stick frame so that you can hang it on the wall when yes. your child is done. Yes. It includes six boat themed canvases and all the paint that you will need, your child will be ready to go. Let's talk about learning tools. So one of the learning tools you will receive as part of the sixth grade curriculum this year is the Mix By Me Thinking Putty. With Mix By Me Thinking Putty, not only does your child get a fidget to keep their hands busy so their minds can engage, but it is a fidget they can design and create themselves. Also in the learning tools is, this, is the test prep. In many states, you're required to take a yearly test. Even in the states that you're not required to take one, it is helpful for your child to begin to get those testing skills, get rid of testing anxiety, and give you as a parent kind of a summary for how their learning went throughout the year. So this is included for the end of the year. And last is the Timber Doodle Handbook. This happens to be the 2019 edition because our 2020 edition was in production at the time of this filming, but the content is still relevant. So included in your handbook is a summary of all the items included in your kit, our tips for scheduling and how to use them. Also included in your handbook is access to our online scheduler so you can put all of these products and anything else you would like to add to your scheduler um, into our online scheduler and it will help you customize what your weekly schedule will look like. So it could be all this, all this curriculum and make sure you take a walk every week or make sure you um, vacuum every week or whatever your goals are for your child, put them on the scheduler, print it out, and now they have a weekly schedule that they can follow. Also included in our handbook is the reading challenge. We have up to 104 different reading categories that we would challenge your child to read in. So things such as a book about autumn, a book about winter, a book about manners, a book with a color in its title, and more and more and more. Up to 104 different categories, and not only the reading challenge itself, but then book lists for you to choose from that would qualify for each of those categories. So you don't have to figure out what kind of book would I choose that would qualify for each of these categories. So I think that about sums it up for sixth grade. We're really glad you took the time to walk through this with us. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, call us, Facebook us, get a hold of us. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you.